Welcome to Sound Sleuth Classroom. Shh, class is starting. Today we're going to connect two Zoom F6 recorders so they act as one 12 input recorder. The Zoom F6 is an amazing little recorder that allows you to record in 32 bit float and at 192 kilohertz. It's also equipped to either send or receive time code. It is so cool that I got a second one. And of course, with the intention of syncing them up. Zoom also takes it one step further by embedding word clock it uses into the time code. That allows two zooms to be sample rate accurate when they're in sync. So what is this time code thing? The concept goes way back to the SMPTE standard in the film industry. We're gonna skip an in-depth explanation, but I encourage you to Google it and to learn. One thing to know is that his time code, coming from the film and video industry, has settings for frame rates. They don't make much sense for audio, and the key is just set them both to the same one. There is one specific cable that you need to pull this whole thing off. We need to get the time code out of one machine and into the other machine. The F6 has one 3.5 millimeter jack that supports both in and out. The manual shows us the specifics, but to make it work between two units, in essence, we need to connect a crossover cable so that the tip from one 3.5 millimeter jack connects to the ring on the other, and of course the ring on the first one to the tip on the second, just like this. The easiest way to do this is to actually make yourself a short crossover cable. A full parts list is in the description. Also, if you're new to soldering, I have a great intro link in the description as well. It covers the 3.5 millimeter jack along with other connection types. I have yet to find a pre-made one commercially. Okay, now that we have the cable, let's see the settings on the F6 that we're gonna need. Here are the steps that I find give the best workflow. Designate one unit to lead and one to follow. Ensure the record settings are identical as in sample rate and bit depth. Both units need to be set to the same time code settings. I picked 30 ND or 30 frames a second non-drop. Remember, we're syncing the two zooms so there's no video involved. The key is to make sure both are set to the same time code setting. We need to have the first one, or main as I named it, send out time code but only when recording. The second, or sub as I named that one, needs to be set to record when receiving time code. Here are the menu settings for that on the zooms. Here's the one thing I discovered. The two zooms have to be synced together initially after power up with a brief five to 10 second recording. This lets the second unit adjust its settings and jam sync to the incoming sync. After that, they have internal temperature controlled oscillators that will keep them in sync together within a frame or so for the next 24 hours. But once again, we're talking audio, so I do this every time I go to use it. Okay, let's put this to the test. I have two Zoom F6 recorders and two microphones. Each microphone is connected to a different recorder. Here are the initial conditions. Both Zooms have their SD cards freshly formatted. Therefore, there's not gonna be any previous takes on either one of them. I've named one main and one sub. If you wanna do this, go into the record, metadata, scene name, mode, username, and then change the username to whatever you would like. Note, as the devices power up, you get empty folder. Also, note that the times on the units are different, almost an hour different. I changed one on purpose just for this demonstration. Let's look at the record settings. Both units are 48 kilohertz, 32-bit float. Now on to the time code settings. Both are 30 ND, frames per second or non-drop frame. Now the mode. The main is internal real-time clock or RTC. That is the internal little IC chip whose function is to maintain this as stable and accurate as possible. Not shown, but the second recorder uses real-time clock as well. That is set in the time code start TC menu mode. The first is also set to only send out time code when recording. The second zoom is set to external auto record, so it will sync up to the incoming time code and start recording when it receives this. Okay, let's back out to the main menu. Note once again the times are different on both. 
Now press record on the main unit. Pretty quickly, you can see that the time changes to be the same. But I'll freeze the video and you can see that the record times are different. The main zoom has about one second more of audio. Let's run it for a bit to allow the units to come fully into sync. Now stop the recording. The next time you record, you will be locked as we can see here. Let's pull this into Audacity and you can see and hear the results. Time code test number two. Okay, in summary, here are our steps. Two Zoom F6 recorders. One crossover sync cable. The same sample rate and time code frame rate settings. Set one to send out time code when recording. Both units need to be set for internal RTC clock. Set the second to start recording upon the receipt of time code. Format both SD cards prior to use. Turn them on and do an initial 10 to 15 second record to sync them together. And finally, have fun with your new 12 channel 32-bit float recorder. Thank you.